those of you who are with us wale waliokuwa pamoja nasi and those who are not here na wale ambao hawakuepo we were talking about the power of the indwelling of the holy spirit tulikuwa tunaongea juu ya nguvu za roho mtakatifu wakiwa ndani yetu that we cannot walk this journey ya kwamba tuwezi enda hii safari we cannot run this race hatuwezi enda hii bio without the holy spirit bila roho mtakatifu without him you can do nothing bila yeye hauwezi in any area of your life katika kila hali ya maisha yako We looked at the attributes of the Holy Spirit. We looked at who he is. And we said it is impar- it is important. Tukasema ni muhimu that all of us be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu kajazwe na Roho Mtakatifu. Because before even Jesus left. Maana hata kabla Yesu kuondoka. He said he must go. Alisema lazima aondoke. So that the helper would come. Ili msaidizi akaje. And we discovered we have a help in the Holy Spirit. Na tuligundua tuko na msaada katika Roho Mtakatifu. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us. Ni Roho Mtakatifu anayetusaidia. Access the Father. Yeah, it is the Baba. Holy Spirit who brings unto us the mind of the Father. So, it's this Holy Spirit who is used to speak and bring the voice of God to us. And tonight na usiku wa leo I just want to speak about the voice of the of God. Nataka niogee kuhusu sauti ya Bwana or another title you can have it is divine guidance ama kwa jia nyingine unaweza sema kuelekezwa na Mungu and I've, I've, i've really been trusting god to just let me have that anointing of a teaching prophetically naomba Mungu anipe hiyo roho ya kufundisha kiunabii and that there'll be no rabbits to start chasing you know once that you discover the rabbit you start following the rabbits in the house na jo kibudua skule unaanza kukibizana na yeye kwa nyumba i am trusting god that i'm able to teach to just lay a few things amini, then i can preach na amini mungu atanisaidia kuweka msingi ya mambo fulani alafu nihubiri because it is important maana ni muhimu to have a foundation kuwa na msingi in knowing that we can never move kujua ya kwamba we can kuonefa. never reach certain levels of prosperity in the faith unless you hear the voice of God. Hatuwezi fanikiwa kwa kiwango fulani katika imani tusiposikia kutoka kwa Mungu. There are levels you can never attain. Kuna viwango ambao hauwezi fika until you know how God speaks. Mpaka ujue Mungu ananena kwa jia gani. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is very important tonight. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana usiku wa leo because the fact that many people have never known how god speaks ili ile sababu inafanya watu wengi wasijue vile mungu anavyoongea has delayed destinies hiyo imekawia katika kufikia hatima ya wengi has caused people to go the wrong route imefanya watu kupotea jia has caused others even to lose their lives kuna wengine hata wamepoteza maisha yao because god spoke and you did not hear maana mungu aliongea haukusikia i want you to turn to john Whoever is giving us the scriptures John 10 Nataka twende katika kitabu As I continue to explain Yohana 10 tunapoendelea kuelezea We agreed when we began this conference Tulikubaliana tulipoanzia hii kongamano That each one of us has purpose Yakoba kila mmoja wetu ana kusudi lake We lato. all have a destiny Si zote tuko na hatima And a destination in God Na hatima hiyo inamalizikia katika Mungu You must mungu. understand why you were created Lazima ujue kwa nini uliumbwa And the way you were created Na vile uli why you were created to be placed where you are now kwa nini uliumbwa ukawekwa mahali ulipo sasa god has a reason for your living mungu ako na sababu ya kuishi kwako god has a reason for your marriage mungu ako na sababu ya doa yako and for everything that you do na kwa chochote unachofanya must have a destiny connotation lazima iwe na a, a, kiwango cha hatima We just don't come to waste time in church. Hatuwezi kuja kupoteza wakati kanisani. We come to know who we are. Tumekuja kujua sisi ni akina nani. Our nana. identity in Christ Jesus. Kitabulisho cha kweli chetu katika Kristo Yesu. Why did he create me? Kwa nini akaniumba? Why did he call me? Kwa nini akanilita? What am I doing in the church now? Nafanya nini kanisani sasa? Is it beneficial? Ina faida? Is it of value? Ina dhamana? Or am I just wasting time? Ama napoteza tu wakati. When you answer those questions, unapojibu hayo maswali, you will come to the house of the Lord with knowledge. Utakuja katika nyumba ya Mungu kwa kujua. So that is why we embark on knowing 
the voice of God. Ndio sababu tunafundisha kuhusu kujua sauti ya Bwana. We have no ability in ourselves. Hatuna uwezo wetu wenyewe. Our ability rests in God. Uwezo wetu uko katika Mungu. You cannot run destiny in your own way. Hauwezi ende katika hatima yako kwa njia yako mwenyewe. You cannot use your effort to become what God created you. Hauwezi tumia bidii yako kufanyika kile Mungu alikuba uwe. It is never by might or by your power. Haiwezi kuwa ni kwa nguvu wala uwezo. It is by the spirit of God. Lakini kwa roho wa Mungu. And because you have purpose, na kwa sababu unakusudi, the one who created you, yule abaye aliyekuuba, his spirit is in you. Roho wake ako ndani yako. He's the one to guide you. Yeye ndiye anayekuelekeza. He has the blueprint of your life. Yeye ako na ramani yako. He's the one who is to tell you this is the way you walk this way. Yeye ndiye anakuambia hii ndio njia ifuate. When you disobey and go this way, unapoasi unaenda kando, you become like Jonah. Unakuwa kama Yona. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is important that we know. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu tujue. Let us look at the scripture in John 10. Atuangalie maandiko katika Yohana 10 because God will desire that we desire to hear his voice. Ili Mungu kwa sababu Mungu anatamani tusikie sauti yake. I shall read. Nitasoma. So we will start from that is verse. Is that verse 3? Hiyo ni mstari wa 3 kweli. Okay so that is John 10. Hiyo ni kitabu cha Yohana 10. Uh, let me just start from verse 3. This is nota. about Jesus as our good shepherd Uu ni and Yesu. his sheep. Uh, kama chugaji kwa kondoo. He says, Nasema, the gatekeeper opens the gate for him wow. and the sheep listen to his voice. If the Bible is yours underline listen. Uh, kama Biblia ni yako Some Bible say doorkeeper. Uh, wanasema doorkeeper. He calls his own sheep by name uh-huh. and leads them out. So here there is some leading. Hapa kuna kuongozwa. There is a shepherd. Kuna mchugaji. He is leading. Anaongoza. There is listening to be done. Kuna kusikia au kulazima kutendeke. Meaning someone must listen. Kumaanisha lazima usikize. To a voice. Kwa sauti. How he speaks. Vile anavyoongea. In order to walk and follow him. Ili ukaweza kutembea na kumfuata. In the ancient days in Israel. Katika nyakati za kale kule Israeli. The, the shepherds who tended the sheep wachugaji wa kodoo always walked in front and led. Walikuwa wanaongoza kodoo. But here in our African culture actually katika desturi zetu za Kiafrika we follow the shepherd follows the sheep behind. Mchugaji anafuata kodoo zake. So you might wonder is how can the, someone lead sheep? Unashangaji si gani mtu anaweza kuongoza kodoo? That is because of our context. Kwa sababu ya vile tunavyoelewa hapa. But here lakini hapa Jesus says Yesu anasema When he has brought out his his sheep anapotoa kodoo wake he goes on ahead of them anazitangulia bele and his sheep follow him na kodoo wake wanamfuata because they know his voice maana wanajua sauti yake if you belong to jesus kama wewe ni wa yesu if you are born again kama umeokoka you must know the voice of god lazima ujue sauti ya mungu when we got born again tulipookoka You realize something changed in you. Unagudua kitu ilibadilika ndani yako. Because the Holy Spirit came to reside in you. Maana Roho Mtakatifu alikuja kukaa ndani yetu. You started hearing a voice. Ukaanza kusikia sauti. It is called the voice of destiny. Inaitwa sauti ya hatima. You were no longer your own. Wewe hauko wako mwenyewe. But the spirit was given to you. Lakini roho alipeanwa kwako to lead you and guide you. Akuongoze, akuelekeze. You can never break forth into a new area. Hauwezi penya katika kiwango kipya. You kipia. can't prosper in a business. Hauwezi na wili katika biashara. You may not go to the right place. Hauwezi ada mahali panaposahihi. And succeed. Na ufaulu if you are not led into that place. Kama haujaongozwa mahali pale. We are born again and we have a master over us. Tumeokoka na tuko na Bwana juu yetu. We are not our own. 
Jesus is our master. God is our father. Baba so every venture, everything we want to do, we must return to him in fellowship and listen or ask then listen then be led. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. Then he continues to say in verse 27 My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor I'm sheep. And we have to be led. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I can see someone wondering, I'm sheep. Yes. When we believe in Christ, Jesus, we are led of the Spirit. For as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. That is one characteristic to know that is God your father. He must lead you. Hallelujah. And that is why the Holy Spirit was given to us. He did not leave us as orphans to grow up in darkness. When you want to marry a wife, you start wondering which one, which one, which one. And then you start trial and error. You try this one, you find no, this one is not good. He has given us a sure way. And tonight we are going to know that sure way. You can look at even when the children of Israel when God was leading them to the promised land he led them by a pillar of clouds by day and at night there was a pillar of fire meaning they were not permitted to move on their own God was watching over them because it is God who brought them from Egypt it is God who is taking them somewhere you are a woman and a man of destiny God is bringing you from somewhere he saved you for a purpose you are on a journey. He's taking you somewhere. On that journey, there are challenges. There is trouble. There is confusion. There are snakes and dangerous beasts. He knows you can't go alone. So God knew I must lead my people. He told the children of Israel. When the cloud moves, you will move. When it stays, you camp there with your tents. They were not permitted to lead themselves. If it, the cloud camped for a year, they pitched their tents for a year. When they saw the movement of the cloud, they folded the tents. They began to follow it. That was the leading of the Lord. Why? Every leading of God has its place, location, it's headed to. And it has its timing. And it has its divine security. To go along with it. When at night they had the pillar of fire, evil beasts would not come to devour them. When Pharaoh sent his army and they were just in front of the Red Sea, the Bible says that the angel changed. The angels moved. They went to stand in between. The armies and chariots of Pharaoh never could locate the Israelites. The cloud of darkness, there was no pillar of fire because they would be noticed. So darkness was in between until this one went and 
crossed and they went. Mpaka hao walipovuka wakaenda mpaka pande hii. Beloved God knows the dangers of wa, destiny. Wapendo wa Mungu anajua hatari. He knows how many hatima. demons are pursuing you day anajua and night. Anajua ni mapepo magapi yanakufuata. I was speaking to Pastor Sandip yesterday he told me how a snake wa, uh, ni kuwa naongea na mtugaji Sandip akanyamilia into yoko. his house up went up the stairs to his house. Apo ilipanda mpaka kwa gorofa ya nyumba yake. How attacks come so much? A vile inavyokuja because they know maana wanajua his destiny wanajua hatima how precious he is anajua hatima yake kwa greatness he carries ukuu bwana na ubemba so along the way kwa hivyo safarini god wants us mungu anataka to know his voice ale atu kaweza kusikia sauti yake the bible tells us in uh, um, psalms 29 biblia inatuambia katika zaburi 29 about the power in the voice of god kuhusu nguvu zilizoko katika sauti ya mungu that the voice of god is so powerful ya kwamba sauti ya mungu ni yenye nguvu it breaks even trees inavunja hata miti it can strip the forest bare inaweza safisha msitu it can make a pregnant animal give birth inaweza fanya mnyama mzito akaweze kuzaa meaning the greatest thing we would ever desire when you are born again kumaanisha ile kitu kubwa unaweza tamani ukiwa umeokoka is to know the voice of god ni kujua sauti ya mungu is to know how does god speak to me nikujua vile mungu anavyoniongeza how can i make a difference between the voice of the world naweza tofautanisha aje sauti ya dunia the voice of men sauti ya wanadamu the voice of the devil uh, sauti ya shetani and the voice of the holy spirit na sauti ya roho mtakatifu that is what we want to see tonight hiyo ndio tunataka kuona usiku wa leo so we see as god led these children of israel naona mungu anapoongoza wana wa israeli they were divine signals kulikuwa na ishara za mungu that were like a compass point ilikuwa ni kama compass point to direct them where they should go kuwaelekeza mahali wanapaswa kwenda this time they were not yet filled with the holy spirit like in the new testament wakati wa wako wamejazwa na roho mtakatifu kama agano jipya so they were being led by god himself kumaanisha walikuwa naogozwa na mungu mwenyewe their covenant was different agano yao ilikuwa tofauti we are different sisi ni tofauti hallelujah amen so we shall look at that as we go on tutaangalia hiyo tunapoendelea so you see just like today in fact bishop today unajua bishop in leo in the modern cars or when you go to any other country like even dubai you know u- u- we have the gps in the car tuko na gps kwenye gari you can imagine men have invented a gps unajua watu wameleta teknolojia gps that when you are in a place and you're driving and you don't know the way Yakobo ukiwa mahali unaendesha gari na hautiji. It has been computerized or programmed. Imewekwa katika tarakilishi ama imewekwa kwa programu. That a voice will lead you from where you're living to yeah. your destination. Yakobo kule kitu itakuongoza mahali ulipo mpaka mahali unataka kwenda. This gadget will tell you drive 200 meters turn left. Hii gadget inakuambia desha mita 200 igeuka upande wa kushoto. It will tell you after 200 meters turn left drive 600 meters or kilometers down the road inakwambia kwamba teremka kilomita 60 uh, kwa barabara ya chini finally tell you you've arrived your destination na inakwambia sasa umefika mahali unaenda this is men who have organized a gps to guide people hawa ni wanadamu wameleta gps ili yelekeze watu what about our god na mungu wetu je he has put in us the spiritual gps ameweka ndani yetu gps is the holy ya kilo takatifu to guide us atuelekeze you can imagine when that voice says Drive 200 meters turn right. Ebu fikiria hiyo sauti ikikwambia da mita 200 geuka upande wa kulia. And you say no. Na usema hapana. I doubt. Unasema ya kwamba nina shaka. Will you really continue that journey? Utaendelea na hiyo safari? Every time you're given instructions obedience is key. Kila mara ukipewa maagizo utiifu ni wa muhimu sana. Because our glory, maana utukufu wetu, our prosperity, ufanisi wetu, our breakthrough, upenyo wetu, the peace you need in your family. Ile amani unayohitaji katika familia. The glory we were created to carry as church. Ya bao tume ule tukufu ambao tumeamulishwa kubeba kama And as individuals, na kama mtu binafsi, is rooted in the hearing the voice of God. Umewekwa 
katika kusikia sauti ya Mungu. He who created you. Yule aliyekuuba is the only one who knows which way Uyo, he ordained for you. Huyo ndiye anayejua ile njia ameweka wakfu kwako. So kwa we cannot play around with our lives. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi fanya mchezo na maisha yetu. People who are going through marital turmoil. Wale ambao wanapitia shida za kidoa. Someone will tell you on the night of our wedding. Wale wanaweza kuambia usiku wa doa yetu. I was I had a lot of uneasiness. Nilikuwa sikuwa na amani. I wasn't happy to be getting married. Sikufurahia kwamba nimeoleka. And now look at my marriage. Sasa angalia doa yangu. We are breaking up. Sasa tunaenda kutia talaka. It is because you did not listen to the voice or you are not sensitive to know. Ni kwa sababu haukusikiza vizuri. What is the voice of God in this matter? Sauti ya Mungu ni gani katika hili jambo? Wapendwa every decision. Kila uamuzi wapendwa. Before you take that loan. Kabla uchukue hiyo jia. Before you borrow that Kabla money. Mkopo. Before you take that job. Kabla kazi. Before you relocate to the next town. Kabla uhame kwa mji Before you enter that love relationship. Kabla katika wa kimapenzi. Find what is God saying. Uliza Mungu anasema nini? Because church many people many things are the way they are. Maana kanisa mambo mengi yako jinsi yalivyo. And if you retrace your steps back, na ukirudi hatua zako uangalie nyuma. Oh God, surely I did not do what you said. Utajua kwamba Mungu sikufanya kile ulisema. And now I'm in trouble. Sasa niko kwenye shida. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why God wants to make us no tonight. Dio sababu Mungu anataka tujue usiku wa leo. And that is why your enemy will never want you to know. Dio sababu adui yako hataruhusu ujue. Because every time God speaks the enemy sometimes raises his other ugly voice. Maana Mungu anaponena adui analeta sauti yake chafu. And then there is war between the spirit and the flesh. Na basi kuna kuwa na vita kati ya mwili na roho. And then you say can I can I not? Sasa unauliza niende nisiende, nifanye nisifanye. You don't even refer most of our decision to the word of God. Hata wakati wengine uamuzi hatuangalii you just say i think i'll just decide because people are doing it unasema nafikiria juu watu wanafanya hivi we have passed the era of people are doing it kanisa tumepita ile era ya watu wanasema we are people's opinion sisi sio maoni ya watu blood washed sisi tumeoshwa kwa damu we are a holy nation and royal priest sisi ni taifa teule la jamii ya ukuhani we are the light and the salt of the earth sisi ndio nuru na chuvi ya dunia we must hear god accurately lazima tusikie mungu kwa uwazi Hallelujah. Amen. So we realize that the kwamba. voice of God sauti ya Mungu is our master key. Ndio master key yetu. To every decision. Kwa kila uamuzi. Small or big. Iwe so de- Can uh, my children madogo. go to this school or not? Watoto wangu wataenda shule au la? Because you have seen children going to school and they die in school. Unaona watoto wanaenda kwa shule wanakufia kule. They are killed in that school. Wanauawa or they come back they join the cult ama wanaingia katika mafundisho machafu or you send your boy he has now become a homosexual ama unatuma kijana wako anakuwa homosexual God knows you are born again. Mungu anajua umeokoka. You are his child. Wewe ni mtoto wake. God will never permit you to take your child to school and finally they'll come back as homosexuals. Mungu hataruhusu upeleke watoto wako shule warudi wakiwa homosexual. I tell you God will speak to you before you take your Mungu atakunenea kabla uchukue hiyo hatua. Whether it is through the ways we shall see. Iwe kuni kwa jia tutaona. But God must speak. Lakini Mungu atanena. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. So I want us now to look at uh, the Bible Psalms 119. Ah the buli 119. 105. Ah uh, 105. I want us to know we have encompassed around this mountain for long. And God wants us to break camp. By knowing how to move. By divine signals. Knowing how to move. Through divine guidance. I sense God is bringing back the church in its order. Naona Mungu anarejesha kanisa katika mpango When kamili. Jesus told his disciples, Wakati Yesu alipoambia wanafunzi wake, Tarry ye in Jerusalem. Kawieni katika Yerusalemu. Don't move. Msiodoke. Until after a few days. Paka baada ya siku chache, that the holy the father will send the holy spirit. Hapo ndipo baba atatuma roho mtakatifu. He knew it is that holy spirit. Alijua ni huyo roho mtakatifu. Who would help them to evangelize? Abaya atawasaidia kufanya uijilisi. Who will give them the power? Abaya atawapatia nguvu. The courage. And the boldness. Nguvu na ujasiri. To step out. Wa kuondoka. Even despite persecution and opposition. Hata bila kujali mateso yale na aibu ambayo inafuata. It is the same with us. Ni vile vile nasi. 
God leads us number one through his word. Mungu anatuongoza kwa neno lake. So you we must read the word. Kwa hivyo lazima usome neno. We must get our instruction from the word. Lazima tupate maagizo kutoka kwa neno. The Bible says your word is a lamp. Biblia inasema neno lako ni taa. guide my feet. Ya kuelekeza miguu yangu. And to light my path. Na ni mwanga wa njia yangu. If we are to break into divine expansion. Kama tutaingia katika upanuzi wa kiungo. We must step on the word. Lazima tuingie katika neno. This is what the word says. Hivi ndivyo neno linavyosema. I'm investing in this thing or in this project because I have sought the Lord and this is the word the Lord gave me. So you don't break out blindly. Hallelujah. Amen. Or you don't start a business because Pastor John has also started the same. Ama wazi biashara kwa sababu chugaji John ya meazisha biashara. That is the tendency many times in our business circles. Hiyo ndio mitido katika biashara zetu nyingi. Oh mama Zawadi is going to China. Sasa mama Zawadi anaenda Uchina. Tuende pamoja. Can we go together? Why do you want to go with her to China? Has Kwa God led you to go to China? Mungu amekuelekeza kwenda China pamoja naye. Hallelujah. Amen. She may bring her goods and they'll sell. Ataleta mizigo yake atauza. And you you may go at a loss. Na wewe utapata hasara. Why? because there was no divine guidance or Mana leading in that kuelekezwa na Mungu kufanya hivi because when we retrace our steps Mana tukiangalia hatua zetu nyuma God sends his word to correct us Mungu anatuma neno lake alitulekebishe or to guide us litulekeze hallelujah amen God would also lead us pia Mungu atatuogoza through the voice of the spirit kupitia sauti ya roho We said that the spirit is the spirit of truth. Tumesema Lord Lord wa kweli. He in all truth. Anatuelekeza katika ukweli wote. And he will teach us. Na atatufundisha. The anointing that abides in us. Ule upako uliodaniwa. The spirit wetu. that we received when we got born again. Yule Lord tulipokea tulipokopa. It's powerful enough. Yeye ametosha kuwa na nguvu. To teach you. Kukufundisha. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone may tell you something else. Mtu anaweza kuambia kitu tofauti. But in your heart sometimes you can perceive or design mm-mm. Lakini ndani ya yako unaweza sikia hapana. It is the voice of the spirit that indwells you. Ni roho wa Mungu ambaye anakaa ndani yako. That always tried because uh, the Bible says he's a witness. Biblia inasema yeye ni shahidi. And because we are spirit. Na kwa sababu si ni roho. The Bible says Biblia inasema those who are of the spirit are led by the spirit. Walio wale wa kiloo wanaongozwa na roho. And because we are led by the spirit na kwa sababu tuongozwa na roho. When loho, God is leading us. Mungu anapotuongoza. It is your spirit that captures the signals. Ni roho wako ambayo anapokea ishara. It is not the flesh. Sio mwili. Hallelujah. Amen. For where the spirit of God is there is liberty. Maana mahali roho wa Mungu yupo kuna uhuru. So we must be careful. Lazima tuwe waangalifu. To be sensitive. Kuwa makini. To be sensitive. Kuwa makini to the spirit. Kwa sauti ya roho. But you can only be sensitive when you know how he speaks. Lakini unaweza kuwa makini ukijua bila nani. The word of God is the sure direction. Neno la Mungu ndio mwelekeo kamili. Yes, today Pastor Sandeep taught us. Jana mchungaji Sandeep alifundisha. Bishop Kariuki repeated the same thing. Na pia Bishop Kariuki akarudia. The word of God. Ya kwamba neno la Mungu. You see your destiny. Unajua hatima yako. Well, I don't know how some of you got born again when si, you first heard the voice. Sijui mliokoka namna gani wakati uliposikia sauti. But for me when I got born again. Lakini nilipookoka first it was dramatic ilikuwa sasa ni dramatic i went uh, to a disco in the night tulienda disco usiku and we danced away we drank ana tuka dance tukalewa the morning when we were coming back home asubuhi nilipokuwa narudi nyumbani my friend and i noticed a church um, alafiki yangu akaona kanisa this was in mombasa dr lai's church ilikuwa ni kanisa ya uh, uh, dr lai kule mombasa and we were so amused and amazed and we said so today we just go and hang in there this morning ah uh, tukasema kwamba si tuingie tu ukae tu kule asubuhi leo i did not know god had a plan sikujua mungu ana mpango And I went right there and we sat. Atukaenda tukaingia tukaketi. I don't know if we followed anything that was going on Ata but we went to church. Tulifuata chochote kilichoendelea kanisani. And at the end of the sermon, na mwisho wa mahubili, the bishop stopped everything. A bishop akasimamisha kila kitu. He said in here. Akasema hapa ndani, there is a woman. Kuna mwanamke. God is calling you to be born again. Mungu anakuita uokoke. My friend and I we pinched each other. Ah uh, rafiki uh, yangu nami tukachunana. Uh-huh. We said he's lying. Tukasema ni uongo. That is the way they do. Hivyo ndivyo wanavyofanya. 
He stood 10 minutes. He told the church pray in tongues. He was sensitive alikuwa makini sana. to the spirit of God alikuwa in him. Lo wa Mungu. And his spirit was bearing witness na lo wake to the voice of, spirit, of the spirit that was speaking to him. Kwa sauti ya lo yule abaya alikuwa na Thank God for men of God who are sensitive. Aone wale watu wa Mungu ambao ni makini. And he said that women can everyone pray in tongues. Akasema kila mtu waba kwa dimi. And people prayed and people prayed and what? as we were like what no. what wakaomba, wakaomba this is shame katema. you know when you are in the world you are proud dunia, we find how can you walk in front there being called in public Unauliza, tebea, pale, ni ya watu wote. people prayed in tongues seven women walked in front watu, wanawake saba wakatokea bele he looked at them he said that woman is not even here akasema huyo mwanamke hata hayuko hapa but he led them to Christ. He began to prophesy about that woman. Akaza kutabili kuhusu huyo mwanamke. We said here no. Akasema tukasema hapana. He started he said okay let's take offering. Akasema acha tuchukue sadaka. Do you know when they began to sing? Ni unajua alipoanza kuimba. I screamed. Nililia. I ran from the back and jumped on the altar. Nikakibia kutoka nyuma nikaja bele. And I was screaming I'm the woman. Ni mimi. And so what happened was I felt like chains just broke. And I read it was drama. Na ilikuwa ni drama. When my girlfriend saw that. Wakati rafiki yangu msichana alipoona hivyo. She just ito. left church and went. Alitoka kanisani akaondoka. She went to my house. Akaenda kwa nyumba yake. She announced in the estate. Akatagaza mtaani. You know what happened? Unajua kile kimetendeka. We went to that church. Tulienda kwa hiyo kanisa. By the time I was returning home. Nilipokuwa narudi nyumbani. My nyubani. gate was full of people. Gate gate yangu ilikuwa imejaa watu. Why did you go to that church? Kwa nini ulienda kwa hiyo kanisa? To cut the long story short. Ili nifupishe hayo. When he, I went he prayed for me. Aliniombea. He prophesied. Alinitabiria. I did not understand what had happened. Sikuelewa kilichotendeka. I sobered up. Nikawa sasa Remember nikotima. we are from a night club. Kubuka tumetoka kwa club. I was even embarrassed to leave the church. Nilikuwa hata naiba kutoka. I stayed the second service. Nilikaa kwa ibada ya pili. Just to put myself together. Ili sasa niurudishe akili zangu pamoja. I understand what has happened to me. Ili nielewe nini kimeendelea. I left that church. Nikatoka kanisa. After the service I went a good Christians came talked to me. Wa Kristo wazuri wakaja wakaongea na mimi. Next Saturday there was a meeting and one told let's go. Ah Jumamosi iliyofuata kulikuwa na mkutano nikaenda. In that meeting there was an evangelist from uh, uh, Uganda. Kutoka katika mkutano kulikuwa na mwijiliti mwa Uganda. 7 days after salvation. Ili ni siku saba baada ya wokovu. I am sitting and said this woman this one come. Akasema huyu mwanamke kuja. God is saying A B C D and he said many things. Mungu anasema hivi akasema mambo mengi. They said what is all this? Nikasema hii ni nini? A revival took place after two weeks. Revival ikaendelea baada ya wiki mbili. Who was the person evangelist Teresa wa Irima? Nani alikuwa mujiristi ni evangelist Teresa. Mother in the faith. Ah ah yule mama wetu Iman. She's sitting there preaching. Alikuwa pale akiyuku. And I am weeping weeping. Nilikuwa nalia nalia. This woman come. Kasema wewe mwanamke kuja. I said, "Eh? Hey, Kasema when hey. God has an agenda with people." Kwani Mungu ako na agenda na watu? Just to go back. The first night when I was got I got born again. Ule usiku nilipookoka. I went home. Nikaenda nyumbani. And the devil had also planned a trick. Na shetani alikuwa amepanga jama. I found the boyfriend I had. Nikapata yule boyfriend wangu. I saw some of you who were born holy as we used to have. I used Sit, to have a boyfriend. Mimi nilikuwa na boyfriend. Some of you are too holy. Wengine wenu wataka. I used to have. Nilikuwa naye. I went I found he had brought vodka. Nikakuta kwamba ameleta vodka. Packet of cigarettes. Ameleta paketi ya sigara. He told me now. Akasema sasa. You have to console yourself. Lazima ujifariji. This thing you have gone in. Ili kitu umeingia ndani. You know those people are devil worshipers. Unajua ni devil worshipers. That vodka I could not even touch. Hiyo vodka hata sigeiguza. It's like something had completely changed. Ni kama kila kitu imebadilika. That cigarette I would not even touch. Aya hiyo sigara sigeiguza. They were just like strange things. I didn't want anyone. Sikuwa nataka yeyote. And I told everybody to go away. Nikabia kila mtu aondoke. I slept. Nililala. At around 4 in the morning. Ah saa 10 asubuhi. I was waking up. Nilikuwa namka. And I had a voice. Nikasikia sauti. The spirit of the Lord God is upon you. He has anointed you to preach the gospel. I did not even have not even never even opened the Bible. When I woke up I said where is that voice coming from? I had peace. 
I went straight to the bathroom. Nikaenda kwa bathroom. I took a shower. I went. I used to be a teacher. Nikaoga nikaenda kwa nikuwa mwalimu. At six o'clock, the gate man asks me, "Why are you here at six? Asa, I thought work begins at 8. I was at work waiting for a certain lady who was born again on the staff. I told her a voice has spoken this words. And I told her the words. She told me that is, look for 18 and Isaiah 61. So I told her, so what? What is that about? She took me to Crisco at 5. And that's how I began going to church. Hivyo hivyo nilianza kwenda kanisa. Because they were trying to teach me you know God is saying everything. Maana walikuwa wanataka kunifundisha Mungu anasema hivi. That was the voice I heard. Hiyo ndio sauti It was the voice of destiny. Ni sauti ya hatima. Everybody God gives you a voice of destiny. Kila mtu Mungu anakupa sauti. A voice of destiny guides you. Sauti ya mahali inakuelekeza inakuongoza. And the, when you lose that voice ukipoteza hiyo sauti it's like you lose the star that leads you ni kama umepoteza ile nyota ile ya Jesus was born yesu alipozaliwa it is the star that appeared to the shepherds kuna nyota ambayo ilitokelezea watu it is that star they were going to follow hiyo ni nyota waliyofuata even the wise men hata wale ambao ni mamajuzi locate where jesus was ili kujua yesu yuko wapi that star hiyo nyota you must know you have the star lazima ujue uko na nyota By the time we finish this teaching. Wakati tutakapomaliza haya mafundisho, anyone star that has been dimmed has to be restored. Kila mtu ambaye nyota yake imepotea You cannot walk the journey or run the race. Hauwezi ada safari ya mapiga hivyo. Without the voice of destiny that guides. Bila sauti ya mwelekeo ile ya through a dream, through a prophecy, through a man of God, through an inner witness. Una bi ama ushahidi wa ndani ama mtu wa Mungu. Even during that time because Herod arose. Hata wakati ile Herod alipo. To want to kill Jesus. Jesus. Akitaka kumua Yesu. The star disappeared. Ile nyota ikatoweka. So that he cannot locate where that king Ili is born. Ili asijue huyo mfalme amezaliwa wapi. It is the same with us. Ni hivyo hivyo nasi. God has made provision for our destiny. Mungu amepeana for your business, for your family, Biashara for familia, your children. Watoto wako. There is provision for guidance. Umepewa mwelekeo. We only miss it because we are either disobedient or we are not sensitive. Tunaipoteza kwa sababu hatujatii ama hatuko makini. Herod would never locate where Jesus was the spot. Herod hangejua mali Yesu alipo because of the star. Kwa sababu ya nyota. Even as sometimes when you are in this journey, hata wengine wetu kwenye safari. When danger comes, wakati hatari inapokuja, God will separate you. Mungu atakutenga. God will hide you. Mungu atakuficha. Until the danger is gone. Paka hatari iondoke. He will return you on the route of destiny again. Atakurudisha katika mizizi yake. We will get there. Tutafika pale. So if we look at the Bible, tukiangalia Biblia, in the book of John 16:13, katika Yohana 16, you can just write it down. Unaweza andika tu. We see that voice. Tunaona hiyo sauti. That voice of the spirit gives definite instructions. Hiyo sauti inatoa mwelekeo kamili. In fact in the book of Acts we are told of Paul. And katika matendo ya mitume tunaambia kuhusu Paulo. There's a time he wanted even to go to Jerusalem. Kuna wakati alitaka kwenda hata Yerusalemu. Or go to places to preach. Ama kwenda mahali kuhubiri. Like Bithynia. And the, devil, and, and the uh, the holy spirit uh, the Lord, voice a uh, sauti ya roho mtakatifu will just lay it in his heart do not go ikamwambia moyoni mwake usiende don't do this usifanye hivi because the voice always knows danger Man, he sauti, knows the mind of god sauti inajua mambo ya mungu he has revelation from god akona ufunuo wa mungu when there is danger ahead kuna kukiwa na hatari the holy spirit roho mtakatifu through the inner witness kupitia ushahidi wa ndani will always let you know something is not right itakufanya ujue kitu hakikosa something hakiko is amiss kuna kitu kimekosea we must learn because that in a witness hii huyo shahidi wa ndani a witness is a person who comes to validate some truth shahidi ni mtu ambaye anakuja kusindilia ukweli fulani so when the witness comes for example you've started dating a shahidi anapokuja kama ulipanda usiana or there is a business deal ama kuna biashara ulianza There is something that is impressed in your spirit. Kuna kitu ambacho kinawekwa ndani ya roho wako. So as someone tells you can we enter this deal I'll give 10,000 you also bring your 10,000 we will go and buy this. Mtu akija akwambia tuingie katika mpango ulete 10,000 kumi mimi nilete 10,000 tufunue hii. Two things will happen. Mambo mawili yatatendeka. Either you will feel in your spirit Aidha usikie ndani ya roho yako. There is what we call the a check. Kuna ile ushahidi there is a hardness kuna ugumu 
there is no release hakuna kuachiliwa yes you want to give that but you still feel unataka uh-uh. kupeana lakini unasikia hapana it is a check telling you stop it's a signal ni a divine ishala. signal ni ishala ya mungu telling you stop inakuambia koma if you persist and go above you know there is danger which will come ahead ukisukumia na ujilazimisha kwenda kuna hatari if it is a business deal kama ni biashara you quickly jump in because you are excited unaingia haraka maana umechagamka you give i've met a friend who gave their 10000 una 12 the other one gave 10 mwili mwingine analeta 10 little did she know she was just being conned there were no goods to be bought mshoyo unajua uliibiwa hakukuwa na mali ya kununuliwa but she told me now you see when this person approached me wakati mtu alipokuja kwako i felt my heart something saying don't nilisikia moyo wangu ukiniambia hapana it is not something that says sio kitu kilisema i believe it's the spirit that leads us ni roho mtakatifu anatuogopa that something was telling me don't kitu kilikuwa kinaniambia usipeane if you don't have a release kama haujaachiliwa upeane never do anything usifanye lolote if you have joy kama una furaha and pleasantness na una ule uzuri in your heart katika moyo wako in your spirit katika roho yako that is like yes this is a good ni kama kusema dio hii ni kazi nzuri before you travel kabla usafiri many people have had tragedy watu wengi wamekuwa na matatizo they tell you before i boarded that matatu kabla niingie kwenye hiyo matatu my i had something telling me don't nasikia kitu kiniambia usiingie I felt heaviness. Nasikia uzito. But I was getting late. Lakini kwa na chelewa. I had to go. Lazima ningeenda. A few minutes down the road the car is hijacked. Dakika chache tu nasikia hiyo gari imeshikwa mateka. Accident and people have are dead. Ama ajali na watu wamekufa. Every time. Kila mara let us learn to give priority. Wacha tupeke to our inner promptings. Ile sauti ya dani tuipeki pa umbele. When you feel in your spirit. Ukisikia dani ya roho yako. Whatever you want to do. Kile unataka kufanya. Kuna ugumu. There is hardness of a kind. Haujisiki. You don't feel like doing unasikia it. Unasikia umehuzunika. You feel like you are mourning. Hauna furaha. You have no joy. Ni kama unalazimishwa. It's like you are being forced. Take time. Chukua wakati. Don't be quick to rush into deals. Usiingie katika mipango fulani. Don't be quick to take that man. Usiingie harakisha kuchukua huyo mtu. Don't be accept quick to take deals and say let's travel. Usiseme ya kwamba wacha tusafiri. I know there is a price you have booked a ticket. Najua ya kwamba kuna gharama umebook ticket. But you must learn to know who will I give priority. Lakini utajiuliza nani Because the spirit of God in us bears witness. Maana Roho ndani yetu yeye ndiye analeta ushahidi. He begins giving you signals. Anakupa ishara. And it goes it is in levels sometimes. Iko katika viwango fulani. Sometimes you can feel in a promptings or an unction that is just slight ukuna wakati unasikia ka sauti tu kadogo tu ndani yako someone approaches you you sit together mtu abaye mnakaa na yeye unasikia amekuja kwako you start feeling like a churning in your spirit unasikia ni kama kumearibika uko ndani you feel like there is a problem somewhere in you and as you stay longer it becomes intense and intense unapoendelea inaendelea kuwa ugeza sauti na kuongeza sauti you can't do anything hauwezi fanya lolote some people like me i get irritated wakati mwingine mimi nasikia ndani yangu ni kama nasubuka you can't even pray hata huwezi omba it is like there is red light on danger ni kama kuna ishara danger kuna hatari don't don't usifanye and the spirit is like intensifies don't 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 ni kama roho anazidisha kuambia hapana 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 because god can see you are entering a trap maana mungu anajua unaingia kwenye mtego it is a snare ni mtego you know not every open door is a miracle unajua sio mlango wote ulio wazi ambao ni muujiza the devil even knows counterfeit unajua hata shetani anajua when it is your badia. hour wakati ni ukifika wakati wako there is the right man kuna yule ambaye anastahili and another fake counterfeit na kuna badia ambaye anakuja And you know as humans sometimes we tend to gravitate towards what you should not do. Unajua kama wanadamu watu naingia kwa kila usipa haupaswi kufanya kuliko kile unapaswa. That is why we must always be in the word of God for any direction. Na hapo ndipo tunapaswa kuwa katika neno kupata mwelekeo. To overcome that in a witness ili tushinde yule shahidi wa ndani you cannot like wipe it away. Hauwezi yodoa You can't pray it away. Hauwezi yondoa. But when you get soaked in the word of Lakini God. Lakini ukiingia ulowe katika neno la Bwana. You start getting light. Light. 
unaza kupata mwelekeo. And sometimes you, the Bible you can just we have what we call the quickening of scriptures. Kule, Or sometimes you just look at the Bible, you open and you see a scripture and it hits you. Unapata Or you hear a message being preached and a line or a word just jumps una, off. Unasikia mahubiri ya kuhubiriwa lakini unapata kalaini kamoja ambapo kamekushika. The Lord is my shepherd. Kumaanisha kwa baba Bwana ni mchungaji wangu. Aha. Uh-huh. It starts bringing light. Inaanza kuleta You start nungu. probably now you start sensing maybe. Unaanza kusema mbona if I go this direction. God is assuring me. Mungu ananihakikishia. He is my shepherd. Yeye ndiye mchungaji wangu. He is the one leading me. Huyu ndiye ananiongoza. So we have to be sensitive. Lazima tuwe makini. Every time you feel the promptings. Kila mara ukisikia hiyo sauti. And that voice of the spirit is like coming louder and louder. Na hiyo sauti inazidi kuongezeka na kuongezeka. Sometimes it's just a warning that your destiny is at stake. Mara nyingine unasikia hatima yako ni kama imewadia. I know of a young girl. Najua msichana mdogo. Who met a boyfriend. Ambaye alikutana na kijana. The boy told her I'll marry you. Yule jamaa akataka kumuoa. But in the event of them being together Lakini katika hali yao ya kuendelea pamoja probably they felt they needed some intimacy Wakasikia kwamba wanataka sasa uh, ushirikiano wa dhati But when this lady comes she tells me every time they were getting closer and closer her heart Huyu msichana alikuwa ni like being ripped by knives like Ni kama moyo wake ulikuwa unapasuliwa kwa kisu But you see physically the man is enticing her you see I love you Une he's bought mwana, her dinner and all this the flesh brought in the confusion yule mwili unaleta ile kuchanganyikiwa she did not adhere to the word of god ye hashiki neno la mungu but she says it was evident that kuna kitu mbaya alikuwa anajua kwamba kuna ushahidi there is something even in the morning when they parted from that room she felt a sadness lakini asubuhi hata walipoachana akasikia huzuni soro akasikia huzuni it's like her heart had sunk ni kama moyo wake umezama have you ever met people and you just feel your heart has sunk ushai kutana na mtu unasikia ni kama moto wako moyo wako umezama it is always a warning watch ni tahadhari na kuambia tazama na uombe after two weeks three weeks she noticed oh she's already hiv positive baada ya wiki mbili tatu akapata ya kwamba amepata virusi vya ukimwi even if she comes for prayer and counseling you know there is little it's now crying to the mercy of god unajua hata kama anakuja kwa mashauri na maombi yeye analilia tu lehema za bwana also many people have married they say me when i got married i had gone to the doctor i was hiv negative wagine wanasema nilipoolewa ni siko na virusi they are marrying a husband or a wife who is already hiv positive hawakujua kwamba wanaoa mtu wabaya na virusi vya ukimwi church at this level as Christians as children of God I think katika hiki wango wa Kristo kama watoto wa Mungu we never get ourselves in those mistakes nafikiria hatufai kuingia katika the inner the spirit of God who guides us who leads us maana tuna roho wa Mungu ambaye anatuelekeza who speaks to us ambaye anatunenea haleluya amen well some are accidents wakati wengine kwa sababu there are many mistakes we could make that just turn around your destiny unajua kuna makosa mengi na inabadilisha tena the same mambo hayatabaki vile alivyokuwa tena god will forgive us mungu atatusamehe but you have got a child out of wedlock lakini umepata mtoto kama haujaoleka i met a lady who came for counseling nilipata msichana alikuja kwa pastor's wife yeye ni mke wa mchungaji she strayed alitoka nje where she went she got pregnant mahali alipoenda akapata mimba it was not the pastor's child hakuwa mtoto wa mchungaji Now she got herself into a fix. Akasasa jiweka katika mtego. And she says all along she was dating this man. Wakati wote alipokuwa rafiki na huyu mtu. She kept feeling something. Alikuwa anasikia kitu. But because of disobedience. Lakini kwa sababu ya kutoti. She comes back to her home. Analudi nyumbani kwake. She now tells pastor ni wako. Aka anaambia mchungaji this is your kid. So she came she says she feels so guilty. Anasema kwa sababu anasikia she has cheated him. Anajua amemdaganya. She feels God is unhappy. Anajua Mungu hajafurahi. What can she do? Afanye nini? I told her I don't know so no. Nikamwambia hata mimi sijui. Yeah. Only God can help some cases. Ni Mungu tu anaweza saidia mambo mengi. That person comes for counseling from you as a man of God. Hata huyo mtu akija kwako kwa mashauri. You don't know whether I did not know whether to tell her can I call pastor we all sit together and Ni, you say Sikujua nimuulize kama tuite mchungaji tuombe na tuongee pamoja 
you don't know you'll be breaking that marriage. Haujui kama unavuja hiyo doa. You don't know if the pastor will say it's all right. Haujui kama mchungaji atasema ni sawa. It's a tricky situation. Ni hali gumu. Even for counseling. Hata kwa kumshauri. Hallelujah. Amen. It is always because God will warn us. Ni kwa sababu Mungu atatutahadhari. Even if you are a man of God. Hata kama wewe ni mtu wa Mungu. A lady walks to church and looks at you. Na mtu anakuwa The Holy Spirit will already tag you watch out. Lo mtakatifu atakwambia jitahadharishe. Hallelujah. Amen. If we read the word of God, neno, we listen to the preachings that are preached. Tusikize mahubiri and your spirit is sensitive. Na roho yako yako makini sana. The Holy Spirit is always alert. Alo mtakatifu yuko tayari. God goes to the extent even if it's to give you a dream. Mungu anaenda hata kiwango cha kukupa doto. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why another way we hear the voice is through dreams. Na hiyo njia nyingine ambayo tunasikia doto ni kwa right from the time of Mary and Joseph. Kutoka wakati wa Yusufu na Maria. The dream was there for a purpose. Doto ilikuwa pale kwa kusudi. Joseph himself, Joseph Yus- the other Joseph. Yusufu mwenyewe yu mwingine. He knew he has destiny through a dream. Alijua yeye anako na hati ya kupitia doto. And he obeyed the dream. Na alitii doto. Dreams come for different purposes. Doto zinakuja kwa kusudi tofauti. Dreams will come to guide you. Doto zitakuja kukuelekeza. To warn you. Kukutahadharisha. Hallelujah. Amen. We must be alert when you dream, when you wake up. Unapoamka lazima uwe makini. You have destiny dreams. Uko na doto za kinabii. You have prophetic dreams. Uko na doto za kinabii. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be planning to get into a relationship. Labda ulikuwa unapanga kuingia katika uhusiano. Or buy a certain car. Ama ununue gari fulani. Or go and build a house. Ama uende ujenge nyumba. But you may see yourself into a deal with the architect or the engineer. You see architect. yourself in a dream you've paid them money. Unajipata umewalipa pesa. As they leave they disappear. Wanapoondoka wametoweka na pesa yao. In that dream you get on phone. Wakati huo katika hiyo doto unapata simu. You call them they are all mteja. Unawapigia unakuta wote wamezima simu. And you wake up. Na unaamka. Is God not speaking clearly? Si Mungu anaongea kwa uwazi. Is that not a clear dream? Sio ni doto iko wazi. Will you continue to engage them to build your house? Utaendelea kuhusisha kukujagea nyumba? Wapendwa God does nothing. Brethren, Mungu hawezi fanya lolote. If you're faithful to him. Kama we ni mwaminifu kwake. Without him letting you know the dangers ahead of. Bila kukuruhusu we kujua hatari ambazo ziko mbele yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us look at Acts 16 verse 6. Tuangalie Mathayo ya Mitume 16 mstari wa 6. Acts 16 Matendo ya mitume 16 Is that it that it is Next Mata huu mstari mwingine mstari wa 7 No 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 not next I want 6 Aha mstari wa 6 turudi Ah next Paul and Silas traveled through the area of Phrygia and Galatia because of the holy spirit had prevented had constrained them uh-huh. had stopped them from going to preach the word Mugu in that province of asia katika hiyo province ya asia So the Holy Spirit will also stop you or constrain you. Lo and because atakuzia. he may not speak, kama ukienda hata ugie. It is ugea. the constraint that is the voice. Hiyo kuzuiliwa ndio sauti. Hallelujah. Amen. Even around your business. Hata katika biashara yako. There are people you do business with. Watu wale unafanya biashara na wao. But when you meet them there is something that is not just right. Ukikutana nao kuna kitu ambao haitakuwa sawa. Please don't wait for another warning. Kwa hivyo usigojee tahadhari nyingine. Separate yourself and seek God. Jitenge kado umtafute Mungu. Ask God. Oba Mungu. Why is it that when I partner with this person kwa nini napa my sh- heart something goes wrong? Kwa nini napashikana huyu mtu kitu inaenda mlango? For mlaba. sure God will reveal. Mungu atakufundulia. He is even preaching the gospel. Hapa hata ni kwenda kuumbi. The Holy Spirit knew Paul will fall in trouble. Roho mtakatifu anajua Paulo atakuwa kwenye shida. And there are places he went after being constrained. Na kuna mahali alienda baada ya kukataliwa. That he suffered trouble. Walipata shida. There's even a place Paul was imprisoned. Ah kuna mahali waliwekwa hata gerezani. 
Because the Holy Spirit had already warned you don't go. Kwa sababu Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa amewazuia kuenda. Because he knows what is ahead. Maana anajua kilicho mbele yako. Isaiah 30:21. Isaiah 30:21. You hear the Lord saying I'm the Lord God your redeemer who brought you from Egypt. Utasikia Mungu akisema mimi ndio mkombozi wako niliyokutoa Misri. I will lead you in the way that will profit you. Nitakuongoza kwenye njia zitakazokufaidi. God leading always profits us. Mungu mwongozo wake unatufaidi sisi. When God leads us it's to profit fit Mungu akituogoza ni ili atufaidi So for your next level ili kwenda kiwango kingine For your next breakthrough kati upenye ule unahitaji For bele. your next deal which you want ile deal ambayo unahitaji na ufuata It is God's leading that gives you profit Ni Mungu ambaye anakuogoza na kupa faida Hallelujah Amen The Bible still tells us that even when God leads He gives you peace. Biblia inasema Mungu akituongoza anatupa amani. Every time you have peace. Kila mara ukiwa na amani. When you want to do anything. Ukitaka kufanya lolote. You know God is in it. Utajua Mungu ako ndani yako. Because every day we have decisions. Maana kila mara tuko na uamuzi. Should my children go to this school or this one? Watoto wangu waende ile shule ama hii. Should we relocate and go to live in Ushago or should we remain in town? Tuhame twende tukaishi kule mashabani ama tukae town. Should I start a church or not? Nianzishe kanisa au la? God only pays bills of what he ordered for. Mungu analipia gharama ya kile alipoitisha. So if you go to the restaurant and order the food yourself Be sure you will pay by yourself. Ukienda kwa hoteli uitisha chakula utajiripia mwenyewe. If you decide to start building a church, ukiamua kujenga kanisa, when God has not spoken. Mungu akiwa hajaongea, God may not instruct you in a certain period because of time. Labda Mungu atakushauri kwa wakati fulani. God works with the fullness of time. Mungu anataka wakati wake. If you do things outside God's timing, ukifanya mambo nje ya wakati wa Mungu, you may struggle. Utangangana because you are using your own strength. Maana unatumia nguvu zako mwenyewe. Unless the Lord builds the house. Mungu asipojenga nyumba. Unless the Lord builds the marriage. Mungu asipojenga doa. Unless the Lord builds the project. Mungu asipojenga mlandi. You may labor in vain. Unaweza fanya kazi bure. And many people bule. have labored in vain. Wengi wamefanya kazi bure. But the beauty in God is. Na uzuri wa Mungu ni. Those are our divine corrections. Hizo ni kurekebisho kwetu kwa Kiungu. Because nobody knows the perfection of being led by the Holy Maana, Spirit. Maana kuna mtu anajua ukamilifu wa kuongozwa na Roho. It is all trial and error. Yote ni bahati nasibu. When you disobey you get in trouble you say next time. Unikosea ukiingia kwa jishida unasema I will not do it that way. Wakati mwingine sitafuata hicho. So we are all learning. Kwa hivyo tunajifundisha. But as we learn we perfect it into maturity. Lakini tunapojifundisha tunaikamilisha inakoma. Because it is clear that by strength shall no man prevail in God. Maana kuna watu ambao atafaulu katika Mungu kwa nguvu zake. The fact that we are men or pastors or men of God You cannot just decide to do anything. Ah, kusema ya kwamba si ni wachungaji uwezi amua ya kwamba leo nitafanya kitu. That I'll take a loan to build the church. Ya kwamba nitachukua mkopo nijenge kanisa. I'll call a fundraising for people to do this and that. Nitaitisha mchango watu wanisaidie kufanya hivi na vile. Sometimes if God is not in it. Wakati kama mwingine kama Mungu yuko ndani yake. You find even those funds don't come in as you want. Utapata ya kwamba hizo fedha hazitakufikia kama vile ulivyo. You start struggling. Utaanza kungangana. People start saying oh you mchungaji jamani please people start pitying you as Watu wataanza kukuhurumia kama mchungaji yet if you waited on the lord lakini kama ulimngoja mungu in his time he makes everything beautiful katika wakati wake anarebesha kila kitu haleluya amen some of the troubles and problems we go through shida na matatizo ambazo tunapitia wakati mwingine i have a dear sister who was working and she felt she needs to take a loan Uh, to a mortgage for mortgage to buy a home. Kuna dada ambaye rafiki yangu ambaye aliamua kuchukua mkopo wa kununua nyumba. Last week she came to my house for counseling for prayer. Last week alikuja kwa nyumba yangu ili tuombe naye. She told me when she was taking the millions she really felt she shouldn't but she thought she Ak- should. Akaniambia alipochukua hizo milioni alikuwa anasikia asichukue wakati mwingine anasikia achukue. And to cut the long story short the house was auctioned last week by Na hiyo nyumba Bank. yake iliuzwa wiki jana and she's a born again sister. Na ni dada ambaye ameokoka. 
when we are in God. Tukiwa katika Mungu brethren. Let us seek God. Wacha tumtafute Mungu. Let us listen to the Holy Spirit. Wacha tusikize Roho Mtakatifu. He's our helper. Yeye ni msaidizi wetu. When you are stuck. Ukiwa ukiwa umekwama. When we need direction. Ukihitaji mwelekeo. Because until we know we become mature in hearing God. Mpaka tukomae kusikia Mungu at our personal level katika viwango vyetu vya binafsi how will god entrust to you a bigger empire mungu ataku, ata, ata, atakupea aje akumiliki mali nyingi how will he entrust you a business of millions atakuaminia biashara ya mamilioni na mlagani you are being conned of 1000 shillings kama umeitwa katika 1000 god bless you Thank mungu akubariki We understand Tuelewa. because it's from level to level. Maana alikutoka kiwango hadi God is teaching us. Mungu anatufundisha. Because this ministry Maana hii huduma has entered a new dimension. Imeingia kiwango mpya. Where God is taking us. Mahali Mungu anatupeleka. It's a higher level of growth. Ni kiwango kipya cha utukufu. It is that you will arise and say bishop. Kama tunaenda kusema bishop. I had a dream. Nimekuwa na doto. That I was in Lodwa. Yakoba nilikuwa Lodwa. And I was preaching in a big church. Nilikuwa na ubiri kanisa kubwa. I had built a church. Nimejenga kanisa. I was doing evangelism. Nilikuwa nafanya uijilisi. In Tanzania. Kule Tanzania. And you were with me. Ulikuwa nami. This is the dream I had. Hii ndio doto nilipata. God wants to start speaking on higher levels. Mungu anataka kuongea kiwango hiki. And trusting us territories. Anatuaminia makao. And trusting us big business partnerships. Anatuaminia katika biashara kubwa. Giving us strategies. Anatupatia binu. How we can win souls. Bila tunaweza kufua nafsi. We must be hearing. Because our victory comes from being in the right place. In the right location. At the right time. With the right people. Doing the will of the Father. Jesus ministry. He only did what he saw his father do. Alifanya kile ameona baba akifanya. He did not just do anything. Hakufanya tu jambo hivi. He did not just go anywhere. Hakuwa naenda popote pale. The time he was even going to Samaria. Wakati alipokuwa anaenda Samaria. When he met the woman at the well. Alipopata yule mama kwenye kisima. He sat kisimu. down and said. Aliketi akasema. He perceived. Alihisi. You see when your spiritual senses are sensitive and healthy. Unajua lo wako akisikia ile hisia za ndani. That you always read the word. Ya kwamba usome neno. You search scriptures and you know when you need guidance. If I'm sick I know the scriptures when I'm sick. Utafuta maandiko ambayo inakwambia ukiwa mgonjwa unajua wewe ni mgonjwa. When you need to a uh, invest property you search scriptures ukitaka, for investment property ukitaka kuwekeza aha uh-huh, unaenda unatafuta kwenye maandiko your spirit gets acquainted with the word roho wako anaanza kushikamana na neno even when you want to go the wrong way a scripture will just come hata ukipotea utasikia andiko linakwambia saying this is the way walk in this way inakwambia hii ndio njia ifuate if you are sick and you are lying there kama wewe ni mgonjwa na umeketi pale you will just hear I am the Lord that he led thee. Utasikia sauti inakwambia mimi ndio Bwana nikuponyaye. And you know, oh that is the voice of God. Utasem utajua hiyo ni sauti ya Bwana. And whether you are in pain you know there is hope. Ukijua hata ukiwa katika uchungu unajua kuna tumaini. Because you are acquainted with the scriptures. Maana ukiwa umejua maandiko. In the time of need they pop out. Katika wakati wa hitaji yanatoka. When you are hanging around with gossipers. Ukikaa karibu na wasegenyaji. Destiny destroyers. Wale wanaharibu hatima ya watu. You hear the scripture just comes blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Utasikia andiko linakwambia kwamba fulani yule hatabei katika njia za wakosaji. You hear this company I am with. Unajua hii ushirika niko nao. Blessed is the man who walks not. Heli yule mtu ambaye hatabei katika njia za wakosaji. Sits in the seat of the scornful. Ama haketi pamoja na wasegenyaji. Stands in the path of sinners. Ama anasimama kwenye njia za watenda dhambi. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Lakini furaha yake ni sheria ya Bwana. When that scripture comes to you, hilo adiko likija. When you are sitting in a company of wrong people, ukiketi pamoja na watu fulani. It is the voice of God telling you look ni sauti ya Mungu inakuambia tazama you are defiling yourself in this group. Unajiharibu na huu ushirika. Run away. Toroka. Hallelujah. Amen. Church we must learn to give the Holy Spirit preeminence. Kanisa lazima tupe lo mtakatifu. Priority above all. Tumpe kipao mbele juu ya yote. Hallelujah. Amen. King Saul lost his kingdom. Amfalme Suleimani alijua falme wake because he was pleasing men. Alipoteza ufalme wake maana alifurahisha watu. He did the wrong things because what will people say? Alikosea kwa kuuliza watu watasema nini? Hallelujah. Amen. Most of us have gone the wrong way. Wengi wetu tumekosea njia. Because what will people say? Maana watu watasema nini? 
You are not people's opinion. You are God's opinion. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus' ministry was successful because he had the Father. For whatever we do to be successful, we must hear the Father. That is the secret. When you are in the will of God, how can you know? There is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Peace is number one God way God speaks to us. When you are in his will, there is peace. When you are in the way of God, there is rest. He told Moses, my spirit will go with you. I will give you rest. This anxiety, this depression, this worry, this wasiwasi, wasi, it is not the voice of God. God leads us in the way of peace. Peace, my peace, I give to you. He leads us in the paths of rest. When you are, you know, sometimes, in fact, God never speaks when you are not at rest. Be still and know that he is God. He leads us to quiet waters, still when you find your heart is in turmoil, you are anxious. You are exchanging words and quarreling. Things are not clear. You will never hear the voice of God until you withdraw and in quietness and in rest God will speak if you are anxious is this my husband or not I am praying, I am fasting I am binding no, when you are frantic like that you will wait for God to speak God is he the one or not God says be still I will speak God will never speak when you're in a hurry. God is not in a hurry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's a God of green pastures. Hallelujah. And we are his sheep. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what the Lord wanted me to speak to you. Now, many of us, there are things that we went wrong. And God would like to restore us. This word comes as a correction. It comes to encourage us. To give us light. So that we know how to follow the voice of God. After this conference, God may visit you with a deal. With a business deal. A door will open for you. Are you able to make the difference? Whether it's a counterfeit. Or it is the Lord. It is not how much you will learn. But it's when the practical comes. Because God is simple. He speaks simply. You can get in the wrong group of people. When you lie down to sleep, God shows you have entered a wrong vehicle. And that vehicle has swerved and got an accident. When you wake up, search your circumstances. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God will always speak clearly. And because he knows, in fact, let us look at quickly as I finish, Job 33. Because many setbacks come because we are not listening. As sheep, we ought to listen. Even to your dreams, listen. What is God saying in this dream? Job 33. Have you got it? You, Job 33, I think it is normally verse. Ayubu 33, it should be 12 or something. Yes. It should be Job, um, Job 33, verse 12. Ayubu 33, it should be Job 33. Yes, we see a guidance there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Job 33, verse 12. 
Let me start to read there just quickly so that I recap that part. But I tell you in this you are not right, for God is greater than any mortal man. These are the conversations that were going on between Job and his three friends uh -huh. during when Job was going through what he was going through. Uh -huh. Why do you complain to him that he responds to no one's words? For God does speak, now one way, now another, though no one perceives it. Amen. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people, as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears Amen. and terrify them with warnings Amen. to turn them from wrongdoing Amen. and to keep them from pride, Amen. to preserve them from the pit, Amen. their lives from perishing by the sword. Amen. That is our God. Let us pay attention. God guides us and God leads us. Constant disobedience to the Spirit. Isaiah 48 verse 17 says, Always, you'll always hear a voice behind you saying this is the way you walk in it. But when you disobey that voice, God says, I would have given you peace like a river. Hallelujah. Amen. Meaning, Umanishi. when you are in the right way, God will always give you peace. Ukiwa kwa jie inayo, stahili, but mungu when you disobey, amani. it is trouble. Lakini usipoti, kuna kusubuka. I will finish with Proverbs 1.23 as I moja. now give the instruction Nina. of what the Lord would like us to do. Ili napapata magizu ya kile mungu anataka tufanya. Yes, Proverbs. Medhari. Proverbs 1 what happens to us because it is a night when we are being brought just on a level ground so that God can begin to release breakthroughs, expansion, increase, multiplication and we can retain it and keep it in our lives. Yes. So um, this is a word of wisdom from Proverbs 1. Uh, verses 22, but my main focus is 23 and 24. How will you, how long will you who are simple love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? Repent at my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. But since you refuse to listen when I call, and no one pays attention when I stretch out my hand, since you disregard all my advice mm -hmm. and do not accept my rebuke, Amen. I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. Mm -hmm. When calamity overtakes you like a Tom, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when distress and trouble overwhelm you, mm -hmm. then you will call to me, but I will not answer. Mm -hmm. They will look for me, but will not find me, since they hated knowledge mm -hmm. and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Amen. This is just a word of wisdom that is teaching us the way God would work. In he that he, he gave you a dream. Don't doto. enter that business deal but you ignored and went ahead. And now ukaendele. losses have come. Na iyo sasa hali. You are bankrupt. Umeishiwa. Or you landed in trouble. Ama uligia kwenye shida. When you return back to him, mludia, he may not act as swiftly as he would have acted earlier on. Labda hata teda kwa halaka vili ageteda beledi. In fact, he says, I will laugh at you. E anasema kwa manita kuchekelea. You can imagine you're dying and God, you, you feel God is... I think God may not, re or he may laugh. And but checker. what I tend to see the loving God doing is probably you pray and you don't hear anything. Labda He's na quiet chote. just watching you. So these are the consequences of disobedience. Haya diyo ya kutoti. But God loves us to hear his Lakini voice. Mungu sauti to yaki. follow the voice of peace. Sauti ya to amani. obey the inner witness. Ku, uh, ule to obey the promptings. Uh, kuti ile sauti because wa anything we do out of it we we'll never bear fruit in the future 
And as we reflect on our lives tonight, I just want us to face our own lives. And look at us if we have always asked the Holy Spirit to help us. If not, it is just the time to tell God, God, I repent. Let that chapter now go. I now know how you will lead me. From today, I shall be sensitive. When you you say don't, I will not. When I have no release, I will not move. When I have a dream, I will consider. When I hear a prophetic word, I'll obey that word. When the preacher preaches and gives direction, I'll obey and walk in the direction of that word. Because that is the voice of God. And we must have faith that God speaks. The Bible even says in Amos 3, God does nothing unless he reveals his plan to the prophet. His so tonight, I just want us to do self-reflection. Self-reflection as we humbly come before the Father. Because the Lord laid this heavily on my heart. Returning to the place of the fellowship with the Holy Spirit is our master key to divine expansion. Hearing his voice, knowing his voice, being keen to learn and fellowship with him is your master key to your next level. After this word, instructions will come. God will release breakthroughs. Doors are going to open because God now knows you are mature. You have no excuse because sometimes you say, I did not know something was speaking. I lost that money because I didn't know what it was. But you know the spirit of God lives in you. He's your teacher. He can bear witness with your spirit. And also when it is an attack of the devil, God will show you. Sometimes you've dreamt your loved ones got an accident. It is God telling you this is the plan in the spirit realm. God will tell you this is the plan, the being hatched. Arise in warfare. Arise and cancel. Destroy the plan of the enemy. Render it powerless. Abort the bad things you see. Because that is the plan of the enemy. God has good plans for us. If you see your child is seated in class and you see they have failed an exam. God is telling you, arise. Wage war on behalf of your children. Fight for them. Declare and speak in their lives. Reverse the situation. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the power and authority. So we shall never be caught off guard. When expansion comes, you will not just be told you have a promotion. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You will first go back to seek God. God, why did you give me a raise in salary? Why, do you want, why have they increased my salary? And the spirit will whisper to you. It is because of the kingdom. It is because you are going to do crusades this year and you have to give to the church. It is because your tithe must now become higher. Because there is a lot of evangelism in 2020. You ask God, why did you give me this promotion, Lord? He'll 
tell you I'm exposing you to know how to do this kind of things. Or in this position I've promoted you. Opportunities are going to come for you to go for training. And you will get a technical know-how that will help you even in the church to assist the technical crew. God does not just give us things. Even miracles have a purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't just get the pay rise you say now. I wanted a 52-inch TV. I'm now going to buy that one. Praise the Lord. God will always give you strategy. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why God wants us to be sure to hear him accurately. Tonight, the things that God will do for you after this conference are all kingdom related. That is why this was a teaching. It is different from yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you know you have a master key, when a man walks to you and tells you, look, there is a business deal there. Follow me. When the spirit tells you don't, you tell them, thank you, God bless you. Get somebody else. And people look at you and wonder how come she knew. That is what distinguishes people. That is what distinguished Daniel. When the king wanted to kill them and tell them, unless you interpret my dream, I'll kill all of you. Plus astrologers. He went back in the place of prayer. The voice of the spirit is sharpened through prayer. It is when you are praying and interceding that the voice of the spirit becomes clearer. Direction and strategy come. How do you think even a prophet gets prophetic words and prophetic wisdom? It is when you are laboring for a person. If I get on my knees for Pastor Sandeep tonight, I will definitely come out with a word. Because as you labor in the spirit, as I labor for Jem, the Lord bubbles in me, Kusuri enlightens in me their direction. Inanuisha, inanipa Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why it's key to pray in tangues. Yes, sababu, Praying kwa in kwa tongues kwa facilitates kwa kwa the ease of the flow of the sensitivity of the spirit. Wa, wa mambo ya Someone can gossip you behind that door. Mtu when they kule. come in front of you, you will know this one has been talking about me. Because your spirit mseke. will reject them. Maana, loho why do you think people face rejection at kwanini, times. Because you come before a man of God, he mungu. looks at you, he sees a nasty spirit. He sees a spirit of sabotage. His spirit picks it up immediately. And so that person avoids you. Na Hallelujah. Amen. Praying in tongues. Tonight God is going to give us an outpouring. Because your lost hearing must return. The deaf ears must pop open tonight. Seeing eyes must come forth. You must have a clarity of hearing the voice of God. Because God confirms his word. His word never returns to him void. If he sent me to preach hearing him, it means he's going to speak to people here. Hallelujah. Amen. God is going to speak to you. Some of you will tell you that man is lying to you separate from you. Come out from that WhatsApp group. That's where disobedience comes. You know, Bishop, nowadays, the Facebook and the WhatsApp things. You know, the Holy Spirit does not come just to tell you, I'll give you a car. Break through evangelism in North Africa. No. He starts by telling you, clean your house. Your bedroom is not very clean. Next time you look at your wardrobe, you hear a voice telling you, arrange the clothes well. Your socks are smelling. Do washing today. 
don't just go to church. Usiende tu kanisani. Wash, wash. Aha, wash. You feel ah, I'll wash when I come. You have already disobeyed. Tayari umeasi ukisema utoshe ukirudi. The Holy Spirit does not move with disobedience. Lord takatifu atabaki katika kuasi. You go to be totally sensitive. Lazima uwe makini kikamilifu. You would rather do afadhali ufanye. Yet he wasn't speaking. Na iwe sio yeye alikuwa na not do. Lakini ukosa kufanya. Because every obedience is tied to a blessing. Maana kila utiifu umeunganishwa na baraka. Says that you are going to Chai Sunday. Tenda, supermarket tenda buy supermarket. mama zawadi a loaf of bread and Aha, a packet of milk nunulia mama zawadi mkate na maziwa you start thinking eh, mama, mama zawadi mama zawadi the flesh comes in mwili unaingia you start reasoning unaanza kuwaza you already missed your miracle tayari umekosa mujiza wako yet god knew what you just obey to bring her milk and bread maana mungu alijua ukimletea maziwa na mkate someone just comes hey Mtu atakuja aseme hey today I just felt to bless you here Leo nataka kukubariki 1000 in your hand elfu mkononi mwako You compare a loaf of bread and milk to 1000 Unalinganisha mkate na maziwa God wanted to bless you but he looks for a way Mungu alitaka kukubariki akakutafutia jia Haleluya Amen Our blessings are always with us in the community even in Baraka the church zetu city. ziko nasi huku katikati tu That brother seated next to you Huyo ndugu ambaye ameketi nawe His shoe may be torn Labda kiatu yake imeladuka In your wardrobe you have four new pairs Na kwa nyumba yako uko na viatu nne And God makes sure he steps on you so that you see Mungu anakufanya akukanyanga ili uone Or you see the collar is torn of the shirt Ama unaona kola imelaluka Why does God open your eyes in church to see Kwa nini Mungu asifungue macho yako uone nguo Is God is telling you can you help that brother you Mungu are their destiny helper Saidia huyo dugu You sit there you want a destiny helper Unaketi You yourself you are a destiny helper to somebody Wewe ni destiny helper ya mtu Pastor Sandip told me it's a two way traffic Ah Pastor Sandip aliambia kuna njia In your smallness Katika uchache wako Somebody is destiny helper Ni destiny ya mtu fulani Because that is where church we want God to speak many things here Tunataka Mungu anene mambo mengi hapa Yet when God just tells you go and wash bishop's car. Mungu akikwambia ende wash bishop car. Hauwezi enda. You said feel I have to go to the market. I have to go and do this. I'm a woman. How do I go and wash the car? Mimi mwanamke nioshe gari namna gani? What will mama bishop say? Mama bishop atasema nini? That's carnality. Hiyo ni mwili. Obey, just obey. T. Just obey. T. No matter how foolish it looks. Bila kujali inaonekana pupa kiasi. Just say me I'm hearing if it's right or not. Sema nasikiza. But I decided I want to wash your car today. Na niliamua nataka kuwashia gari bishop. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Sometimes instructions used to come I remember when I God because you must be trained how to hear the Holy Ghost. Lazima ufundishwe kusikiza Roho Mtakatifu. It's not automatic. Si ghafla. So tests must come here and there. Tumajaribu tutakuja hapa na pale. And when you dream you are doing math test. Aha sasa ukiota unafanya mtihani. When you dream you are doing geography test. Wakati unaota ukifanya geography. Just know you are being prepared a test is coming. Jua kwamba unaandaliwa mtihani unakuja. Hallelujah. Amen. God used just to tell me can you go and brush go to pastor's house and brush their shoes. Ah Mungu akikwambia enda kwa nyumba ya mchungaji upige viatu rangi. So early at six, on Saturday at eight you are at the gate. Aha Saturday sabiri uko kwa mlango. What do you want? Nataka I came ni... to polish your shoes. Nimekuja kupanguza viatu zako. I mean it is but you just go because if you keep failing I tell you it's just bad you feel so bad. Maana ukiendelea kuanguka utakuwa ni baya sana. There are times God do just say go. Mungu anatasema aenda. You see that sister church. Unaona huyo dada? Go and do their washing today. Nenda umwoshe mavazi. Say God me at my caliber. Ah katika kiwango cha. To go and wash their clothes plus their children's things. Nienda nioshe hata watoto nguo zao. You know God does not argue when he give you instruction. Unajua Mungu abishani na wewe akikupea maagizo. All the spirit does tells you the rest is up to you. Kile roho anafanya anakuambia anakuachia. Whether you say God, kisema Mungu. I have no bus fare that's not his problem. Sina nauli hiyo ni shida yako. Especially when God is refining you and processing you. Haswa wakati Mungu anakusafisha anakutegedeza. He's only trying to make you to teach you obedience. Anataka kukufundisha utii. Faith walk. Maana safari faith void obedience is just it's like the cross void the spirit of God. Imani Meaning, bila utiifu si kitu. Obedience is key number 1. Utiifu ni kitu Even cha kwanza. Even from our father Abraham. Akutoa kwa baba yetu Ibrahim. 
we may lose out these things we think are small small tunaweza poteza hizi vitu tunafikiri dogo dogo just gives you small small instructions because god's instruction is not to minus from you anything maana maagizo ya mungu haitoi kitu kwako ni kukuongeza and he knows if he's calling you into a big position na anajua akikuita katika position kubwa he must train you in the ways of honesty integrity obedience atakufundisha uadilifu utiifu so he knows you must be separated from everybody anajua lazima utengwe na kila mtu you cannot be listening to everybody's voice and everybody's opinion hautakuwa unasikiza sauti ya watu he knows he must teach you to fellowship with him alijua lazima kufundisha kushirikiana naye have an intimate relationship uwe na uhusiano wa dhati na yeye how can you tell people god is saying unaweza bia je watu mungu anasema when you did not stay in his company wakati hukukaa na yeye to hear what he is saying kusikia kile alisema haleluya amen the book in the uh, the bible in the book of jeremiah says biblia katika kitabu cha yeremia ask pastors and preachers kwetu wachugaji na wahubiri i think it is in jeremiah 20 yelema 20 where he says that the, the 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 prophets did not listen to the voice of god so the, their flocks scattered mahali ya babu ili nasema they did not prosper hakusikiza nao so even as a pastor you can struggle and not prosper. Kwa hivyo kama mchungaji unaweza ngangana ukose kuna wili. Instead of building a church of 50, 60, 100 people. Badala ya kujenga ya They come and go, they come and go. Wanakuja wakienda. Because you are covering is disobedience. Maana wewe umefunikwa na You are not doing what God wants. Haufanyi kile Mungu anataka. Hallelujah. Amen. God tells you funga virago go to bishop one month. Mungu anakuambia funga vinavyo kwa bishop. Kwa hiyo kanisa. Aha, you, you can mop, you can arrange chairs. Oh, kanisa, but I've commanded you to go and the bishop. Uh-huh, you bishop. say now my wife. Nasema my children. Watoto wangu. Now how will I just go? Nitaendaje? I think when we go for conference I'll first ask bishop which month is good to go. Nita nikienda kwa conference nitauliza You see how obedience is not obedience. Unajua kutotii kikamilifu sio utiifu. You cannot replace God's instruction with your own. Hauwezi batilisha maagizo ya Mungu na yako. When God says give Shiko a pair of shoes you say Shiko has 10 pairs she always changes shoes I think I'll buy her a dress so you take to Shiko a dress Unapelekea Shiko dress That's disobedience That was not the instruction Hiyo haikuwa maagizo Hallelujah Amen We must be accurate because we are vessels in the hand Sisi of the Lord We are mwanumu. not of our own we have been bought with a price Atumiliki maisha yetu tumenunuliwa kwa gharama And we are messengers Na sisi ni watumwa in every level god wants to Katika use kila kiwango ambacho mungu anataka tutumie may we rise up on our feet tusimame kwa miguu yetu i want us to do some self reflection nataka tujitazame sisi you do, you know areas where things went wrong and up to today things have never been unajua right. mahali mambo yaliharibika na mpaka sasa haijarudi you know maybe you never hear the voice labda hukusikia you sauti. used to hear but it would disappear ulikuwa unasikia sauti lakini sasa ilitoweka maybe you disobeyed something labda uliasi pahali we want to restress our steps and say father i repent tunataka turudi tuseme mungu na natubu because we are entering into we have entered into a new season maana tunaingia majina mapya mm-hmm. Divine expansion is our portion. Upanuzi wa kiungu ni urithi wetu. And because God is going to speak and release great things among us. Kwa sababu Mungu atanena ataachilia mambo makubwa. Let's give him a clean chapter. Wacha tumpatie kulasa mpya. Tell God anywhere I did not do that which you required. Abia Mungu mahali popote sikufanya. Where have not been in fellowship with your spirit. Ni mahali sikushirikiana nawe. Where you spoke and I ignored. Mahali ulinena nikapuuza. I assumed. Nilikosa kutii. I disobeyed. Nilikosa kutii. It is time to say father forgive me. He is not sabe. condemning us. Sio kwamba anatuhukumu. It's because he wants to give us a new beginning. Ni kwa sababu anataka kutupa mwanzo. Every one of us open our mouths. Kila mmoja wetu ufungua mdomo wako. Talk to your father. Ongea na baba yako. You know yourself. Unajijua. Anything I spoke that touched you. Na chota tinikidena. You may be suffering something. Labda unateseka. Maybe your business is down because of your own mistakes. Labda biashara yako imeanguka This is the time to say father forgive me. Ni wakati kusema baba nisame. Heal me and prosper me again and watch me. I'll obey every instruction. Open your mouth. Maybe it's something regarding family. Regarding relationship. We are returning back. We are returning to the Father. We are returning to say Holy Spirit. Without you I cannot do it. You are my guide, you are my helper. Hey. Hallelujah. Repent so that we get into the next session. Tubu ili tukaingia kiwango kingine. Of asking God to release his outpouring. Uomba Mungu akaweza kutumia. Rikando skatolo boboshanda. Rimasiando roboshikiririando. 
Oh Father in the name of Jesus. Oh Father we come. Oh Shanto Robo Zataya. Search our hearts and know us God. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Even our attitudes God that do not align with your voice oh God. Have mercy and forgive us today. Forgive us oh God. Oh Lord you have put a master key in our hands that we may walk on the paths that profit us by listening to your voice. Father, we've strayed. We have lost our place of greatness. We have lost our place of relevance because we have not listened and obeyed your spirit. But today we return. We ask for forgiveness. Oh, have mercy on us. Have mercy, oh God, where we have not been led by you. We have been led by other men. We have been led by opinions of men. We have become copycats. We have copied what others are doing. Yet it is not what you told us to do. Father, have mercy and forgive us. Where we ignore divine signals. We knew this is a divine signal. But because we wanted to have our way, we did not obey. And now we are in trouble. Things are not moving the way they ought to be. We have not reached the levels we should have ascended to. Oh, Father, forgive us. Have mercy, oh God. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Father. Holy Spirit, quicken us. Remind us, Lord, that nothing will hold us again. That setbacks will not be our portion. Oh, we are getting into newness. New beginnings. We are entering gates, oh God. This morning of our destiny. We are in the gates of time. We are in the gates of time. And we must step in our divine expansion. Help us, oh Lord. Forgive us that you may speak again and we shall hear you. Cleanse us, oh God, every attitude that don't align with the move of your spirit. Today, cleanse us. Today, purify us. Forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us, our master. You who is faithful and just, when we repent of our shortcomings, you hear us. You